Origami Tree, and today I have a very special guest, Paul Frasco. He is the co-author of Creative Origami and Beyond, a book that we work with with Stacey Tamaki and Coco Sato. If you haven't checked out that book already, be sure to check it out. I'll have a link to that in the video description. And he is actually coming out, well actually it's out already, right? It's out already. A new book called Fantastical Creatures. Hold that up talk a little bit about it and he is going to be showing us how to create the dragon what was the dragon's name again? it's a razorback a dragon. razorback dragon um i don't really know my dragons but <laughs> anyway it's a razorback dragon and he will be showing us how to make that but first i i want to ask you some questions about your book sure it's amazing so uh my first question is why fantastical creatures why not cats or bunnies or I oh, I think that question answers itself. Why not cats and bunnies? Because fantastical <laughs> creatures are better than cats and bunnies. But you know, the first thing I ever made when I started origami was a dragon. And I've been working on improving dragons ever since. And so uh, I got asked to uh, to put together this book for Barnes & Noble. And uh, it's available in Barnes & Noble and barnesandnoble.com right now. And it's all... Uh, creatures with a fantasy event so there's a phoenix and mm -hmm. a dragon and which and one a is which baby dragon so here you have a a phoenix a pegasus uh, the razorback dragon that we learn learning today a, a fairy uh a little vampire uh hydra so it's uh it's full one. of it's full of creatures and there's something in here for everybody it starts with some pretty easy stuff and then mm -hmm. it gets harder throughout the course of the book some of these are actually a pretty big challenge so i hope people try them out and, and practice a little bit so the other thing is you know it's a complete kit that comes with paint and paint brushes so all the paper oh, is cool. white and, and each paint container is oh, nope oh yeah. it comes out yeah, they <laughs> it do comes come out, out. <laughs> so you know in the instructions for the book it tells you how to paint the paper so you mm -hmm. can create your own and uh and that's a big part of what i do for when, when I fold stuff, I always make my own paper. I always start with a blank sheet and, and make my own paper. And then I use a process called wet folding where I mm -hmm. make the paper a little bit wet before I fold it. And then when you fold it, it'll hold its shape in, in some of these more more interesting shapes. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, going to hold its shape for, for the life of this object unless we uh, were to, say, take it out in the rain or in the shower with them. <laughs> Okay, great. So uh, you're going to show us how to make the dragon now, right? We're going to learn the Razorback Dragon now. Awesome. So we're going to start our Razorback Dragon with a piece of paper that I've pre-painted using paint from the kit. And you can see that it's got a relatively rough texture, and uh, I, I like it that way. You can also see that I didn't worry too much about finishing up uh, the paint. And I'm going to start by making a piece of paper towel wet, not dripping, and I'm going to wet my piece of paper. Now, I don't want the paper damp, I just want to moisten it a bit. It should never be dripping. Turn my piece of paper over and do the same thing. You can see I just have this painted on one side. Only one side is going to be visible in the final model. So, we're going to start by making a traditional bird base. And we start by making a book fold in half. And I'm going to Fold gently here, trying not to crease too firmly. I'm going to open this back up and make a book fold along the other edge. And open that back up. Now I'm going to turn my piece of paper over. I'm going to fold on the diagonals. I'm going to repeat on the other diagonal. By popping it up in the center, when you do that correctly, it collapses together and it makes that first step of a traditional origami crane. It makes what we call a preliminary base. Now I'm going to fold that top layer to the center line. I'm going to repeat the same step on the other side, folding to the center line. I'm going to fold this point over these two edges, right, like this. And this is all pre-creasing for the next step. So I'll unfold everything, and I'll make what we call a petal fold. 
by folding that top flap up, you can see it opens up. These start to come together. And then I'm just gonna help it along by reversing this crease up here. And again, this is very familiar if you've ever folded a classic origami crane. You can see I'm not even worrying about it being too clean there. I'm gonna turn it over and repeat the same step on the back. I'm gonna skip the pre-creasing here, but if you're new to this, do it the exact same way we did just before by making those two creases first. There, now I'm gonna fold this top flap down and turn my paper over and fold this down. And now you have a traditional bird base. This is the first step of making an origami crane or the first step of making a razorback dragon. So I'm gonna fold this back up and I'm gonna swivel this top flap here to create a, the first wing. And I'll show you that again. Again, this point comes to the center and we just swivel up and flatten that out. And we take these two points and fold them up. Those are gonna make legs or, or arms for our dragon. And now we're gonna have to narrow the neck. So this will be the head. I'm gonna fold the edge to the center. And you can see those arms that I just mentioned, they're gonna swivel to complete that. And again, on the other side, fold that edge to the center and swivel to complete that. So now you have the head, the tail, and the two wings. So you have all the parts of the basic dragon. Turn it over and we're gonna fold in half along that center line. And we'll start to make our tail. So we're gonna take this edge and fold it to make a crease right along the edge of the wing. And we're gonna use what we call an inside reverse fold. Open this up, bring it through, just like that. Now we're gonna to start to make the first of the razors for our Razorback Dragon. Take this edge, fold it up to the same place we did before, right to that bottom edge of the wing. We're gonna repeat that on the other side. And these are gonna form the razors on the back of our tail. And we do an inside reverse hold, just like we did before, bringing through and then flattening, and there you can see those points. And we're gonna repeat the same steps again Fold bottom edge of the tail up, inside reverse, and then fold those up. And there you can see we've got the razors on the tail of our Razorback Dragon. Now we're gonna make the head of our dragon. And this is the toughest step, so you may have to try this one or two times. We're gonna open up and we're gonna fold this point down. And then we're gonna inside reverse again, just as we did before on the tail. Fold those up and create eyes. Again, instead of razors like on the tail, these create eyes for us. And then we'll fold the mouth forward. Now all we have left to do is our wings. We'll fold our wings down, again revealing the last set of razors here. And we're gonna make a little pleat in the wing. Fold up, and then fold back down, and do the same on the back. Now we just have to finish shaping our dragon. We're gonna give the neck a little twist, give it a little motion, give the tail a little twist in the opposite direction, give it a little motion. And there you have a finished Razorback dragon. What you can do if you have little bits of white showing or little bits of 
the color on the inside, just finish those off with a little bit of extra paint after you're done, or add additional colors or, or, or anything that you'd like. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial by Paul Frasco. Again, he is the co-author of Creative Origami and Beyond, and also the author of Fantastical Creatures that you can find at Barnes and Nobles, and a whole bunch of other things as well. He is one, <laughs> he's amazing. Um, so anyway, uh, check out the link. It's going to be in the video description. Paul, say your goodbyes. Thank well, you so much for being on the Origami Tree Show, I suppose. Thanks for having me, Jenny. I appreciate it. Awesome. Great job. Bye. All right. Okay, we're quick. <laughs>